Hello everyone, welcome to another day in paradise. I am working on a tech video today. I'm just building these connectors for 24 volt DC distribution fuse block system here, connecting to these Anderson power poles. So we will get this all built right now. All right, these are gonna go all together. These four ends are gonna connect to these uh, eight wires got a little heat shrink to dress it out a little nicer here are my ends I'm gonna crimp it with this it goes into this fuse block i got a bunch of these to do and it's getting late so i'm just gonna go ahead and do them and uh, maybe we'll do a little time lapse or something Alright, so I apparently had some number sixes and number eights mixed up together in the same bin, which is why they came out a little gnarly like this. But uh, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it on the video, there's a little number six there for six gauge, which is why this is flaring out like this. It's not supposed to do that. Um, but I crimped it on eight, and it's a number six. Whoops. They'll still be fine, they just look a little gnarly. This does impact their performance um, if you're using something heavy, heavy duty. For something this small, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. But it does impact performance on a bigger connector. Alright, so then I just have some uh, heat shrink tubing just to kind of make these look nice and, you know, finish them out. You know, shrink them in there. But they go, I put them on there about to that point and then shrink them and then stick them down in the hole. So I'll do that next. All right, so this, the way these fit in these holes, I'll do the heat shrink later actually. The way these fit in these holes, it's hard to demonstrate, but there's a flat spot on the back side. This is the front side. So when they mate together, they actually snap together like this and those parts touch so that is where the connection happens so on the back this is the back side of the connector it has this little lip that lip catches on this spring so you can actually push these springs in and reseat these or move them to a different type of connector if you want to but the way this works you just stick it in the hole it pops twice it goes in the first one ah, these are tight There we go. And then it's not in there all the way. And now it's in there all the way. So red has to go on the positive side. They're all labeled. I'm just going to throw these together, knock through these real quick. All right. So positives should all be on the left or red, like this. Oops. <laughs> you can actually check that these fit together. They fit together perfectly when you flip them over. Red to red, black to black. Just to double check it if you want to do that. Alright, I'm going to do uh, these positives into my fuse block next. And then I am going to do all the negatives are all tied together in a different type of fuse or non-fuse block. So I'm just going to strip these and put these on real quick. 
nothing really to this. This is just street wires, car audio type thing. Use these all the time. They're pretty great. I don't think they make them anymore. I bought surplus a whole pile of them a couple of years ago, but they're really difficult to find. Ah, I like that they take the mini fuses and that you can put so many in the same block. Alright, so I'm just going to knock these out now. Alright, so one last little touch that I do on these when I put these together. You don't have to do this, but I think that it helps a tremendous amount. I use a little bit of uh, blue thread locker. I'm going to put it together. Doesn't take much, just a little drop. A little bit of thread locker goes a long, long way. Alright, there we have it. We have all the positive fuse block wired in for this power distribution system. Alright, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear about them. Anything else you'd like to see um, that I'm working on, then that would be uh, really cool too. Anyway, uh, give me a like if you like this, and I will keep throwing up more videos. Thanks!